just a, a next bike uh, trying to have my bike fixed. He told me that we don't have any carbon forks. Uh, I've ordered from Bangkok, so uh, I was really hoping that you know I'd be able to walk in and get some forks today. So we don't have any. So essentially, I'm going to have to try some other bikes this time. And then if not, I'll have to get them ordered in. Uh, it's a shame because I've paid for a bloody grab uh, grab car here. Um, so yeah, I think. Um, I'll have to go to the bike store and uh, try that and then I'm just going to go home and uh, get this, get this all done. So, um, this is my bike, I've uh, just connected this to it. Everything else is okay, but um, I'll show you the fork so you can see here, like that. Um, and on this side, it's, uh, it's, sorry I can't really show you with the light, but um, basically Basically, the whole fork is, uh, well, the whole side of that fork is just snapped. Uh, and I've even had it to the point where it's like moving, so it's obviously not safe to use. I uh, don't think I can have it repaired, so essentially, I've got to buy a new fork. I would love to get an aluminum fork because I'm, I, I don't care about like it being an extra 200 grams or whatever. Um, if, if I have another crash again, God forbid, hopefully, I won't. Um, I'd hate to have to be like, oh, that's another hundred pounds wasted. So I really think it's pointless having a carbon fork, especially when the carbon fork is, is always pretty much going to be the first point of impact. Like you don't crash sideways, uh, well, unless the car hits you, I guess, uh, sideways, and you don't usually crash like in reverse. So yeah, I need I need the front to be protected. Okay, so I'm just in the taxi now. Um, going to Velocity. Um, I've just also realised now the derailleur has like totally fell off. The um, I just because this car the seats won't go down. Uh, I've just realised the um, derailleur hanger, which I literally just had repaired, has came away from the frame, um, which Velocity was supposed to have fixed in the first place. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if it was because of the crash, maybe the impact, but. I haven't inspected yet, so they will have to inspect it. Um, I hope that's not more more problems. But yeah, now I'm I go to um, Velocity, and hopefully they have forks in today. If not, um, then I have to order from a neck bike, and they will um, have them in a few days because they, they they come from Bangkok. So then I I have them online. So essentially, what I will do. I will just message them, uh, get them to order, and then obviously when they have ready, I, I'll come and collect. So hopefully I can uh, get the bike fixed. But at the moment, I'm still riding around, but not not riding for leisure. Uh, just riding to like groceries, errands, things like that. I'm using uh, Brittany's bike, which is uh, a little small, but still get, still gets the job done. Uh, now now they have um, Grab uh, Taxi here in Chiang Mai, which is really cool um, because instead of um, putting money into you know Tok Toks and uh, Song Tao, which um, just like pollution, uh, put, obviously cars put a little pollution out, but obviously nothing like the old cars. You know that um, I've seen Song Tao's riding around in Tok Toks, and they're just like puffing out black smoke. Um, obviously, the kind of cars on Grab are the kind of newer cars, which are obviously still put a little fumes out, but it's kind of like more economical and um, yeah, economical and pollu pollu puts less pollution out as well. So um, I try not to obviously use taxis too much because I try and cycle everywhere. But on the odd occasion that I have to, uh, I have to obviously get a taxi here and there, like for grocery hauls because we, we get far too much now especially now that we're back eating uh, a lot of food and stuff we get far too much now to um, use any, any you know just do it on the bike we've got road bikes as well we don't have racks or anything like that yeah if you're going to be in somewhere like Chiang Mai try and always and um, you do have to use taxis try and always use the most um, efficient uh, you know kind of like environmentally conscious way this is what I do um, I rarely get the grabs like I said just once a week at the moment for the groceries and obviously my bike's broken and I've got to take it to repair and the stores are far too far away like I'd be, I'd be walking for like an hour to take my bike 
So I'm at a uh, Velocity Bike Shop now. Um, I'm just, just checking the forks. It looks like they have a new pair of forks, but um, I'm not sure if they'll fit. A review of my forks, um, if you can see the problem. It's uh, totally broken. Um, yeah. And then everything else is. So I asked about the aluminum forks. Um, but they, they say that um, forks are designed to break um, for safety. So <laughs> if I was to get um, aluminum ones, I guess I'd be like, oh, they're not broken. So I carry on riding and then maybe they fail. I don't know. So um, they said that the carbon forks are designed to fail for safety. So that's good, good information. Even I'm, even I'm learning after five years. But um, I have had carbon forks um, a few times. Also in the car, the... Um, this came off. Um, it still seems okay, so maybe, um, maybe it can just put it straight back in, uh, or they can, or whatever. Hopefully, hopefully we can get this resolved, and I can ride home today. But uh, if not, then I guess uh, I'll carry on having to ride a uh, Brittany's bike for a few more, few more days, or maybe a week, or whatever. Okay, so I've talked to the people from the bike shop. Uh, just let me get off the busy main road because it's quite loud. Um, yeah, so I've, uh, I've talked to the people from the bike shop, and uh, they, although they have uh, the carbon box, they, um, they've not like doing today because they need to make some modifications um, because the bike is uh, a UK a UK based brand uh, called Moda and um, this is the trouble with buying like a fake made brand that's not giant specialized or trek and um, you have you have these issues and um, fortunately though I, I didn't buy this brand new uh, this bike new so I wouldn't I wouldn't waste money on buying a bicycle um, that is not a reputable brand or like a, a official brand um, no because I mean if you can get a cheap second-hand one then that's fine uh, I bought mine off a very good friend of mine for 200 pounds <laughs> he basically gave it to me for free and um, the bike needed a lot of love so I spent maybe five six seven hours and um, you call maybe a few hundred pounds and um, you know fixing it uh, and I'll, I maybe yeah I spent 150 pounds buying the parts of it like uh, it needed new brakes um, it needed a lot of love and TLC uh, cables things like that so yeah I essentially I've got to got to wait three, three or so days it's not the end of the world I'm not really doing too much life at the moment I've only really just got my arm back I couldn't hold on to the handlebars on my uh, arm I could like rest my arm there but as soon as I went over a bump or something, I had to I had to release because the pain it shot straight up to my elbow, um, and it's the elbow that really hurts. The the flesh wound is bad, but the elbow was also super sore. So yeah, I think that will be it for the vlog. There's nothing else really to say. So hopefully I get it fixed. Um, I thought I'd make a cycling related video. That's what a lot of people want to see. So um, yeah. Like the video if you like it, uh, leave a comment, what, what do you want to see, this is like my second video uh, since, I've, since I've started the channel again, so uh, yeah, see you everyone.